what is up you guys it is Zach coming at you with another video today we are going to be talking more about Mario Kart as obviously a lot of people are talking about Mario Kart 9 and what they'd want to see and if they think it's real or not well I already did a whole video kind of talking about what I think of the recent uh, leaks and rumors and all of that um, I'll leave a link to that in the description, or I'll put a card up uh, on the screen somewhere. Uh, but today, I wanted to do something a little more fun, uh, even though I personally don't think there will be a new Mario Kart again, information in that other video. Um, I do think it would be kind of fun to speculate what I would want Nintendo to do with a new Mario Kart. So today, I'm going to be talking about characters and tracks I would like to see come back or come to a new Mario Kart. Now here's the thing, I'm not going to be like everyone else and just going to smatter a bunch of characters, I've set limits for myself. So for characters, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe had 32 playable characters, not counting like alts and different skins and all that. Um, so I decided that I would do 40 characters, 40 characters is all I can do. And uh, for tracks I thought it was a little harder because I didn't want to like come up with a lot of my own tracks because like that's a lot of work, um, but I did come up with a couple ideas. Um, but I did limit myself to 36 tracks because there are only, again, 32 tracks in this game. So without any further ado, we're going to start off with the character roster, but there's a few things I want to note before we get into that. Each character is going to be in a box, and some of the boxes are a little bit different than others. If the box looks like this, that just means there's a character in the box, that's the character. If the box looks like this, where it has a little black triangle in it and there will be another character there, that's going to be an alternate skin that you can unlock by playing the game. And if there is this box with a little rainbow triangle at the bottom, that means that there are color variants for the characters. So, you know, you can change the color of the character. And then if there's the word new at the top, that means that, that character is new to the Mario Kart series. So without any further ado, let's get into the roster. So here's the roster, I am just going to run through it very, very quickly. So starting at the top left, we have Mario with Metal Mario as an alt you can unlock. We have Luigi, then Gooigi as an alt that you can unlock. Then Peach and Daisy, then Yoshi with different color variants. Then Birdo, then Wario, then Waluigi. Then we have Bowser with Dry Bowser as an alt that you can unlock. Then Bowser Jr., Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, Funky Kong. Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Toad with different colors you can unlock, Toadette, Rosalina, Luma, which is a new character with colors that you can unlock, Petey Piranha, King Boo with the Luigi's Mansion King Boo alt that you can unlock, Koopa Troopa with different colors that you can unlock, Dry Bones, Wiggler, Shy Guy with different colors you can unlock, Kamek, Lakitu with different colors you can unlock, Pauline, Cappy, which is a new character, Egad, which is a new character, Olivia, which is a new character, with Ollie as an unlockable alt, which is also a new character. Link, with the Breath of the Wild outfit being an unlockable alt. Kirby, as a new character. Inkling Boy, with different colors that you can unlock. Inkling Girl, with different colors that you can unlock. Captain Falcon, as a new character. Isabelle, returning. Samus, as an unlockable character, with Zero Suit Samus as an unlockable alternate. And then lastly, the Mies. Obviously with this roster, you can see that I didn't go for the Nintendo Kart thing, just mostly because I don't like the idea of Nintendo Kart, I want it to maintain its own identity. And also, I took out a lot of the filler characters, which some people might not like, I took out the babies, or at least most of the babies, I just kept some Baby Mario and Luigi, uh, I took out the Kooplings, um, just mostly because I feel like the Kooplings are like an outdated thing, like they don't really show up in anything anymore, so I just don't feel like they're needed in Mario Kart anymore. Um, and I also took out the most of the metal variants. Obviously, I have Metal Mario as an unlockable alt for Mario, but there's no Pink Gold Peach or Rose Gold Luigi or, or whatever. It's, you know, there's only Metal Mario, and that's it. I did add some new Nintendo characters in there, like Samus and Captain Falcon. I thought having a little more Nintendo representation would be a kind of cool thing, so there you go. Now that takes us to the tracks. Now I haven't got these organized in cups, but I did put them in groups of four just to make my life easier when it comes to showing you them. Uh, but I did sort them into categories because with this Mario Kart, the thing that I think Mario Kart really lacks in a lot of them is courses that really make you feel like you're in the Mario universe or racing in the Mario universe. So I really tried to capture that with this list of tracks that I've compiled. Like I said, 36 of them in total. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into them. The first category I have is called Mario Retro Tracks. These are tracks that have been in Mario Kart before, but are based on Mario games. So, here's the list. 
We have Luigi's Mansion from the Nintendo DS. We have Delfino Square from the Nintendo DS. We have DK Jungle from the Nintendo 3DS. And then Tick Tock Clock from the Nintendo DS. Obviously, these are all based on real locations from the Mario universe, being Luigi's Mansion, Isle Delfino, uh, somewhere in Donkey Kong Country, and then uh, Tick Tock Clock from Mario uh, 64. Uh, I thought those would be really, really cool tracks to add, and I have nothing more to say. So next up, we're going to get into the Nintendo tracks, the tracks that aren't based on Mario, but are based on Nintendo as a whole. Now, first, I'm going to be talking about the returning tracks in this category being Big Blue, Animal Crossing, Mute City, and Hyrule Circuit. These are the ones from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or Mario Kart 8. Obviously, like, there's nothing really special here. They're self-explanatory. But I did think it would be cool to add a few more, so I've got four more uh, tracks that are based on Nintendo stuff. So, here they are. Wispy Woods from Kirby, The Reef from Splatoon 2, Talon 4 from Metroid Prime, and then Clock Town or Clock Tower from Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Obviously, Wispy Woods and Talon 4 are based on the, the new characters being Kirby and Samus. Obviously, Captain Falcon has Big Blue and uh, Mute City already, so that's already settled. And then I wanted to add more for uh, Legend of Zelda being Clock Tower, because I like Majora's Mask. And then uh, Splatoon uh, didn't get like an actual course, it just got a battle course. Uh, so I decided to add in the Reef because it's a pretty good uh, Splatoon 2 map. Next up, I decided to do some new tracks based on Mario Odyssey. I thought it'd be cool to have Mario Odyssey represented in some of the tracks, so here's what I came up with. New Donk City, The Sand Kingdom, The Luncheon Kingdom, and The Ruin Kingdom. I chose those four because I thought they were the most unique in terms of visual style, um, because there are some other really good choices in there that I could have picked from Mario Odyssey, but those are the four kingdoms that I just look at, and I'm like, just seeing those transformed into a Mario Kart track, I think would be really, really cool. So, those are my picks for Mario Odyssey. But I did want a little more love for the rest of the Mario games on the Nintendo Switch, so here are four more tracks I came up with. The Last Resort from Luigi's Mansion 3, Toad Town from Paper Mario the Origami King, Rail Yard Run from Yoshi's Crafted World, and Juicy Jungle from Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Obviously, Tropical Freeze is a Wii U game that got ported to the Switch, but forget that detail. I think the hardest one to make work would be The Last Resort. Um, I mean, the only thing you can think of is, like, maybe you transport yourself to the screens uh, and end up in each floor. I don't know how they can make that work because, like, the building is pretty small, but I think they can make it work, right? They've done indoor uh, maps before. Um, I think they can make The Last Resort work, but I did, like I said, I did want more Nintendo Switch love uh, for other Mario Nintendo Switch games, and I think those settings are really good. So next up, I chose 12 random retro tracks from the Mario Kart series that I personally want to see return. Uh, these are tracks that I personally just fell in love with when I played the, the older games, and uh, there's no real explanation needed for that. So let's get into them. First up, we have Toad's Turnpike from uh, the Nintendo 64. We have Dino Dino Jungle from the GameCube. We have Waluigi Pinball from the DS, and then we have Mako Woohoo from the Nintendo 3DS. Then we have Ghost Valley 2 from the Super Nintendo, Daisy's Cruise Ship from the GameCube, Coconut Mall from the Wii, and then Cheese Land from the Game Boy Advance. And lastly, we have Royal Raceway from the Nintendo 64, Baby Park from the GameCube, Toad's Factory from the Wii, and Sky Garden from the Game Boy Advance. I know there's a lot of really good tracks that I left out, um, you know, like Sherbert Land, there, there, there's a lot of tracks that I left out, okay, but I had to limit myself, I gave myself a limit, and those are the tracks I chose. I know I'm probably gonna get roasted for not including someone's favorite track, but let me know down in the comments what your favorite track is, and, uh, and, yeah, just let me know all that down below. And now, I bet you're all wondering, wait a minute, Zach, you've excluded the Bowser's Castle tracks and the Rainbow Road tracks. That's because they're special. I want to give them a category all of their own. So of course, I would want Mario Kart 9 to have a new Bowser's Castle and a new Rainbow Road, so those are already included. But I wanted three retro tracks of each of those courses, uh, so I decided to choose my favorite ones, and uh, here they are. For the Bowser tracks, I decided Bowser's Castle 1 from the Game Boy Advance, Bowser's Castle from the Nintendo GameCube, Bowser's Castle from the Nintendo 3DS, and then obviously the new Bowser's Castle. And for Rainbow Road, I decided Rainbow Road from the Nintendo 64, Rainbow Road for the Nintendo DS, Rainbow Road for the Nintendo Wii, and then obviously a new Rainbow Road. So there you have it guys, that's my list of Mario Kart tracks and characters that I personally would want. Um, I know, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't get to put in there, particularly for the tracks uh, that people, you know, would have wanted to see. But like I said, I was relatively restricted and I did want to put some new and some old and I definitely left out some people's favorites, but like I said, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. 
So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All that stuff down below. Hit that little notification bell so that you're notified of when I upload videos to the channel. And check out their merch store. There's some cool Zach Pack merch up on there for you to check out. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.